In this video, we talk about subsetting lists, which basically means navigating lists of lists. We also talk about adding more lists or different values to lists you already have. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video on creating and naming lists, I recommend going and doing that first. We're gonna use the list we created from that video in this video. And you need to know that information before moving on to this next piece. So anyway, what we wanna go ahead and do in this video is make a list of lists, and then we can go ahead and navigate around it. So let's go ahead and combine our person one, Nathan up here, and our person two into one list. We'll call it people, so people and we'll go ahead and assign it and we'll do our list function and p1 and p2 so we run that real quick we now have a list of lists and so if we run people and take a look at it we'll see what it outputs so this is our list of lists and we see that we got you know one name nathan uh and then age and then weight and we come down here to chris and we get name age weight so we got those two lists in our people uh list now, it kind of gives us a hint of how to navigate this thing. You see how there's two brackets and then a number here? Let's go ahead and throw that in here. So we'll throw that in there and run that real quick. And we now see that we go into the Chris list, right? So we got, the, or the P2 list to be precise. So the P2 list is the one we just entered by using this double brackets and the number two. And so just like that, we've chosen what list we wanna go ahead and look at. And then if we wanna take another dive deeper, we can reference the values in this list as well. And we can do it a couple of different ways. I'll show you the different ways we can do it in. But let's go ahead and try and get his age. So we're gonna throw double brackets again, and then we'll go ahead and throw a two in there. So it should be the second list, right? The P2 list. And then it should be the second value in that list, which is age right here. So if we run that real quick, we should get 32. So just like that, we get 32. And let's go ahead and see what type of value this is. So type of, and we'll use the type of function to do that. So let's run that real quick. And we see that this is a double. So it's actually referencing that number right there. And you could actually do math with that number if you want to, it's a numeric value and you could do math with it if you wanted to do some math with it. So that's one way to do it. Now let's go ahead and delete this double brackets real quick and we'll go ahead and run what it looks like if we don't use the double brackets on the second element, so the element we're calling from the second list. So we, call, we run it and we see that we have age and 32. And if we run the type of, we see that this is a list. So if you don't use the double brackets when you're trying to reference values within a list, it's going to give you a list back. So if you want a list back, well, then you can use these single brackets, but if you want the actual value in the list, you need to use double brackets. So I wanted to point that out so you're mindful of how, how that works. And a great way to just double check is to, you know, sometimes throw in that type of function and make sure that you're actually getting what you think. Because for me personally, knowing when to use double brackets or single brackets kind of gets a little confusing or overwhelming. So type of will tell you if you're pulling out another list or you're pulling out a value like a double or a character or a numeric or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this out of here real quick, the type of function. And so we have a method for picking which list we wanna go into. So we wanna go into the second list right here, which is our P2 list. And then we wanna look at the second value in that list. Alternatively, let's go with one and three real quick. And we should get 160, right? Because we're going to the first list, which is up here and then the third value in that list, which is 160. So that's one way to go ahead and navigate around a list of lists is to use these brackets and these numbers. Alternatively, we could go ahead and clean things up a little bit by using a vector to pick out items. So let's go ahead and do people again. We'll use our double bracket, and this time we'll use a, a vector, and we'll just do one, three, and run that real quick, and you notice we get to 160. So using this vector method with the double brackets is a way to navigate to the same point so you're not using so many brackets that it gets overwhelming. But we could go ahead and, of course, do two and two as well, run that real quick, and we get Chris's age of 32. So that's another way to navigate lists of lists is to use the vector method with the double brackets and kind of keeps things a little neater because this gets a little overwhelming, I think. But moving on, another way we can go ahead and do it is to use the name of the element we're trying to pull. So let's go ahead and we'll go with Chris real quick. 
And now we're actually type out the name of the element that we want. So we'll throw an age here and we run that real quick and we navigate it straight to 32, right? Because we've loaded the second list, which is the Chris list. And then we went for the age element, which is right up here here, age is 32, right? So what I'm trying to show you is that you can use both the number or the name of what you're trying to call. So if we came up here and we give these lists names, right? Because right now they don't have a name, they're just position, position one right here and position two right here. But we could go ahead and name them. We can name it P1 and P2, just like we had in names up here, right? We had name equals Chris, age equals 32, weight equals 180. So we named values in our list. In this case, we're doing the same thing. We're simply giving the list a name in our list. Okay, so let me go ahead and run it real quick. And so now we have our list that has lists that have names in it. So if I come down here and I've referenced P2 instead, so P2, we see that that also navigates to Chris's age of 32. I could do 31 or P1, I'm sorry, run that real quick and we see Nathan's age of 35. So you can use you know numbers and or the names if you want to. So right there, 160 is the weight of Nathan right there. So just to summarize real quick, you can use the position of what you're looking for like by using the actual number of that position. Alternatively, if you've given that position a name, you can go ahead and reference the name of that position as well. So two different ways to go ahead and navigate through a list of lists. Now to kind of cap this video off, let's go ahead and add a value to our list. So let's come on down here and I'll show you two different ways you could go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and go people and let's go ahead and go to number three. So this will be the third per the third position in our people list, right? We only have two positions taken up, but now we're gonna have a third one. And now I can go ahead and set that and create a list. And I'm just gonna copy this one real quick and we'll change out some information and we'll call it fill. And we'll go with, I don't know, 29 and 130 pounds. We'll run that real quick. And now if we go ahead and run people, we'll see that we have three people in our list. So we've got Nathan up here in position one, Chris in position two, and then Phil in position three. So we can go ahead and simply add by telling R which position we wanna go ahead and add the person to in our list. So in this one is the third position. Alternatively, we could go ahead and do people, people, and use our dollar sign here, and we can say P4 for position four, and we'll go ahead and throw in another list in here. So I'll throw that in there, and we'll call this one Lily, and she is 37, and she is 120 pounds. Run that real quick, and now if we look at our people, people list of lists, people list of lists, we see that we have a P4 person in here, Lily. So we got Lily, we got Phil, we got Chris and we got Nathan. And of course I could go ahead and navigate to Phil and Lily just like I can navigate to Nathan and Chris. Same concept applies of using these double brackets with the numbers or the names of where I wanna go ahead and grab a value from. And so that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.